Most people know TikTok for producing a lot of brain rot. <laughs> The average TikTok user spends an insane one and a half hours on TikTok every single day, swiping their life away and distracting themselves from reality. But what if I told you that there was another side of TikTok, a good side of TikTok, math talk. And at the forefront of it all is Tanya Zakowicz, but you might know her online as Pink Pencil Math. Crazy matrix that you need to know, dividing by seven editions. With a combined follow account of two and a half million people, she's built a devoted community of students all dedicated to one thing, getting better at maths. But there's one thing that Tanya does differently. Instead of the typical boring style of teaching which you often see in lectures, she takes a more unique approach. She focuses more on mental maths and problem solving, and crucially, making math something you'd actually want to learn. She's been labeled as TikTok's math teacher, but despite designing launch pads at NASA and literally building Elon Musk's Hyperloop, maths was also once a struggle for her. Through years of dedication and passion, Tanya overcame her challenges, and today she reveals how she did it, as well as some golden tips on becoming a better student. Well, the story behind Pink Pencil Math. Well, for context, I never really considered myself a like, math person. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, I actually had to repeat a year of math as well. I know, crazy. They, they yeah. just, I didn't like outright fail it, but they were just like, yo, you are not ready enough to move on to the next level. And I had to repeat an entire year of math, um, wow. which was pretty demoralizing at that time. So I never really thought of myself as a math person, but you know, that did motivate me later on in life. I studied pretty hard. I ended up being an engineer. I got to work at all sorts of places like NASA, and I was working at Boeing, and this startup called Hyperloop One, where I got to do like oh. such really cool projects and work with really amazing, talented engineers. But when I came back after COVID, I was helping a kid on their homework problem around like fractions and I realized like, oh my goodness, I actually, my mind blanked and I was like, I actually don't really know how to solve this. Like, this is so easy, but I completely forgot. And I've been, I realized I've been using my calculator for so many years and relying on that, that my mental math was just like down the toilet. So I decided to relearn kind of all the basics, um, mental math, everything again and through the process i wanted to make videos about it as well and that just started to grow it seemed like a lot of other people had a similar struggle as i did and it seemed like some ways that i like to solve problems actually worked for other people on the internet as well yeah. uh, and then i learned a lot of ways other people did problems that i wasn't aware of so that's kind of yeah i helped pink pencil grew and the story from there i love the story i mean that's yeah. something that i guess we didn't get earlier on and i think you know looking at you now you think oh you were always a math genius from day one and you always knew all the tricks of the trade and sort of you're it's just that you're now sharing them were you doing a year of math like yeah i mean i was petrified of having to do something like that like i did school in the uk and i don't like people don't generally get forced to repeat years, but it was always something that I think I yeah. saw in like The Simpsons or whatever it was. And it was like, you have to go to like remedial school. And I was just absolutely petrified. And that was one of the things that was just like, yeah, lit a fire underneath me. I was just like, <laughs> I cannot do this. I mean, what was it like, you know, having to do a, a year of math and then, you know, looking at you now, like, do you think that was like a transformative experience in your life? Actually having to, to redo that and being like, actually, I can get beyond this. And, you know, I, I can be good at math if I really apply myself. Yeah, it, it really was. It was pretty demoralizing at that time. I mean, the good thing is like, I went up grade levels. <laughs> it wasn't like I was stuck in seventh grade, but at my school, they had like different levels of math. I yeah. had to do pre-algebra again. And I was just yeah. the same, the same thing. But it was interesting because I had a different teacher and I felt like like taught things differently and allowed me to see different ways to solve problems as well. Do you know a particular teacher who was like a formative figure in your life? Or was there, was there a person who really lit that spark in you? Um, you know what? It wasn't a math teacher. That's a, that's a good question, actually. It was There wasn't a math teacher, but when I was in school, I took this, like, robotics class. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, but the teacher seemed to believe in me. And yeah. I think just, like, having that, like, older type of mentor just sees something in you when you don't 
believe in yourself really helped kind of push me in that direction, encouraged me to, you know, pick up math, pick up engineering, get yeah. into physics and go from there. And I didn't realize at that time how much of an effect it had on me. Just having someone say like, I believe in you. Yeah. And I feel like that's what really <laughs> carry forwards to Pink Pencil Math today with your now TikTok channel and Instagram reels as well. People look up to you as being like this very, very positive person who has actually <laughs> taken it forwards and, you know, accomplished so much, done engineering, gone from, you know, zero to 100 and is sharing now her you know, life story. And well, most of all, to be honest, like actually like just tips as well uh, about it. I mean, what would you be your advice on staying positive as well? I mean, you're always so positive in your videos. And I think that that is so important. It just shows people watching them that like, this is possible and that you believe in them as well. Oh man, you know, I know the feeling. I feel like we've all been there when you just can't figure something out. It's like, you know, I'm very positive in my videos. It's normal, everyone has their good days and not so good days. <laughs> and you know, I, I don't have some good days either, but I think the trick is, you know, when you are not having a great day, you still show up, you still stay yeah. resilient. You still try to just do something and you just try and it's the same thing with math problems you know even if you don't get it just try to chip at it you know sometimes eventually you will actually get it and you'll be like aha or if, if you can't figure it out ask ask for help i ask for a lot of help <laughs> a lot every day yeah i think the trick to how i i'm still so positive about things is that I remind myself that, you know, it's not, nobody's perfect. I don't have to understand everything from the start and I'll eventually get it. You just gotta keep going and keep persevering on. Exactly, at some point it will click. And I think, yeah, that's something that, I think when I first, you know, went got to university, you know, I was at Cambridge and then they, you know, a lot of the year of ours were like, you know what, the thing about it is it's hard, but it's manageable. And I think that that is like one of the things that maybe people confuse. Like the first time they see a math problem, they cannot solve it. Like, this is impossible. I'll never be able to do this. When in reality, like if you just keep at it, you can be a bit persistent, you know, it might seem completely, just completely impossible at the beginning, but then it starts getting better and better. And yeah. content is so interesting as well. So you are this math genius. You are also involved in content creation. Can you talk us through like the process behind actually finding a video? I think, you know, we're gonna have up on the screen one of your you know viral videos as well. I think the butterfly method uh, for fractions is something that is absolutely amazing. People love it. How do you find <laughs> these tricks? And how do you actually distill them into something so simple? Because within like 30 seconds, I know exactly how it works. But if I were to read a book, I think that somehow they just mess it up and they make it so complicated. <laughs> oh, um, well, you know, okay. I would not say I'm a math genius. Definitely <laughs> far from it. <laughs> um, I think everybody's a math genius, but we sometimes don't realize it. But you know, yeah, when, when I make a video, I would say what I really enjoy doing is finding things that I find complicated and trying to package it into like simplifying it into a tiny video that's much easier to understand. Uh, that, that, that's the whole thing about like pink pencil math. Like for example, I just made a video on calculus yeah. and it's kind of like, I just simplified like what calculus really is and did it in a real life example in a 60 second video and like boom like a lot of people were like oh this is what it is because yeah. when we're in school we get so caught up and like solving problems all the yeah. steps you know the procedures exactly. that is just so difficult to just take a step back and look at the big picture of like wait why are we doing this why yeah. does it work so what i like to do is take that and try to condense it in like a way that a 10 year old could understand yeah. and package it in a 60 second video. I would say I'm definitely not, like not inventing math or anything. So I do look at what other people are doing as well. I get inspiration from a lot of other people. I talk to other content creators who are doing math as well. And we talk about like, oh, what's an interesting way that you can do this? So how about you? Um, and then I like just making my little tweaks that I find easier to solve and then making a video doing that. <laughs> and not just videos now, you're also an author. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I want to basically get people to check it out as well. I'll drop the link in the description. Um, tell us a little bit more about the book as well and you know, you, your inspiration behind that. Yeah, so the book is called 50 Math Tricks and it's, it is what it is. It's 50 
mental math tricks, but I think the word tricks is actually a little bit misleading. It's more like 50 ways you can mentally solve a problem, creativity. And it's all about like, how do you manipulate numbers in ways that you weren't taught in school? Um, so each trick is kind of like how you could do it. And then also like why it works. So the math and reasoning behind it, which I don't really get to talk about in my like yeah. really short form videos because not enough time. And also real life examples of like when you might actually use it. And I have a lot of fun with this book because I really try to break down numbers into like visual, like visually. Yeah. So I'll use a lot of like shapes, squares, rectangles, like pictures, all that type of stuff. So it's pretty fun. Like I, I, I enjoy yeah. reading it too. <laughs> oh, I want to go check it out. So you have Pink Pencil Math and you're also launching something new, right? Yes. So I, you know, I love Pink Pencil Math. I have my book and my course out and my making videos, but I actually, over the years, I realized like I don't love making videos for eight hours a day. It's something I love to do, but you know, I'm ready to move on and also do something else. And one thing that I absolutely love is working with children, specifically toddlers. So now I'm starting another company called Happy Barra. And what we're doing is we're making toys for toddlers and eventually as kids grow up. And it's like educational toys that I made sustainably um, with like sustainable wood. And I am pretty excited about this because it combines my love for education with my love for engineering again, which I was doing for so many years and quit doing that for pink pencil. So it's kind of like a full circle coming back to it right now. Um, and I'm super excited. So I'll definitely keep you posted about that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna check it out. I think we can get everybody to comment happy. It's happy bara, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, awesome. happy yeah, bara so support And comment happy bara. A lot of young people watch your videos. Um, a lot of parents watch your videos too. What would be your advice for them if they are just getting started? Oh, you know, my favorite quote that someone told me a long time ago, it's it's something like, and you know, I forgot who said it, but it's it's a ship is a ship is not um oh no, what is it? A ship is <laughs> We can we can find it. <laughs> I'm looking it up. It's a ship is safe in the harbor but that is not what it's built for. There's a few variations of that. And yeah, a ship is safe at the shore or the harbor, but that's not what it's built for. And I really like that quote because it, it just tells you to, you know, just get out there, just yeah. do it, just get started. And you know, the thing that once you get the wheels going, it things get easier, but to get over that initial hump, that's the hardest thing that anyone can do. So I would say my biggest advice is to just just do it. Just get started. Yeah. Don't worry what anybody thinks of you <laughs> because you all have a laugh at it down the road anyways. And actually another thing that somebody told me because I've tried building a bunch of different products over the years yeah. is that if you are not embarrassed by your first product after like a few years, then you are not you're, you're, you're not moving along enough. Exactly. Um, so I think that quote just tells you to also just like get started, get yourself out there and don't worry what anyone thinks. I mean, that's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Tanya, for your time. <laughs> I think that in this, we have distilled probably, you know, almost a lifetime's worth of advice, but as an, I guess, a taster of what people can find, check out uh, the Pink Pencil Math book, which we'll leave a description to, and also keep an eye out for Happy Bara. Thank you.